All right, everyone, it's time to bring up another platform that I operate on. Of course, if you're already watching this on Brighteon, hello. Uh, yeah, it's, it's a smaller video hosting alternative to YouTube than Library and, and BitChute are. Um, however, it is advancing. Uh, they put out an email, actually. They're working on a super chat and, and uh, donation system. Now, I, I would caution them that unless the structure is very much decentralized from normal banking, if your site generates too much attention, at some point, Visa and MasterCard and the others will deplatform you because they'll get a, a friendly email from the people for the American way or something uh, telling them about this evil Nazi site full of extremists that's making money using your banking system. So you got to make sure that, that doesn't happen. And there are various ways around it. Subscribestar, whatever the hell they're doing, seems to largely have worked. Apparently, their payment processor doesn't work in Japan, though. Uh, <laughs> something like that and it's like really weird uh, but they're branching out um, to make super chats and tipping uh, link in the description by the way and I'll pin it on YouTube as well you should join me there I, I may eventually make exclusives there as well I've hit the top upload tier and, and really the, the biggest problem that I've had with the site and and all three of the main YouTube I'll tell you, well let me let me go through something really quick here and explain it all four of the main YouTube alternatives that I use have their ups and downs. BitChute, for example, is growing quite quickly, um, has a lot of content on it, has, in my case, has the largest generated audience, like 86,000 subscribers, it's pretty high, but their search function is primitive and the sort of off-hook app that's used is, is kind of shaky. With Library, it's fairly quickly growing, there's a lot of content there, the searchability is better, but sometimes the site has a lot of downtime and sessions time out and, and it can be glitchy. With Daily Motion, Daily Motion has very low overall engagement for the English speaking world, but at the same time, it is still a large platform, number one. Uh, unfortunately, number two, uh, it, it's censored. Uh, it, it's not all tech, it's pre existing. In fact, I think it's older than YouTube. With Brighteon, you're looking at a site that has good searchability, but it at the moment has less content. And part of this is due to what I would consider the only main site issue, which is the fact that, unfortunately, when you upload a video there, it gets manually checked. Um, they they're manually check things more, and so it takes quite some time to actually become visible. Now, if you just intend to make the occasional video and or your Brighty on only, eh, that's not a problem. For somebody like me who mass uploads each morning and then likes to share things out, there's no incentive for me to share out the Brighty on links because by the time the Brighteon link is up, I've already, half the views I'll ever get on the YouTube video have already been clocked in. It's many hours later, so it's not part of my daily sharing schedule. Um, with the library, that's, uh, the problem with them is the, the URLs generated are so obtuse, to tell the truth. That's the only reason why I don't share those out too, and so I limit it to BitChute and, and Daily Motion, of course, then YouTube. Uh, but Brighteon has been improving. Uh, I've hit the top upload tier, which means now I can upload everything uh, each day. It took me a while to hit that. That's the other thing, getting your foot in the door there, unless you're dragging a pre-existing large-ish audience to Brighteon would be harder because the tiers are based on the view count. And so if you hit the, the number of maximum uploads, you have to wait until you have those views. And so there's an incentive to share out your Brighteon links in your channel and to try to generate an audience. And I think it's an attempt to grow but I think it should be relaxed slightly because it might actually be throttling the site some. Certainly, people tend to be hyper-competitive in creation anyway, if they're any good. Uh, even people with little audiences uh, totals uh, are hyper-competitive. You wouldn't believe it. That's why you get some you get some channel with 10 people trying to antagonize PewDiePie into a, into a verbal debate or something because they want some, some audience. Uh, people can get a little bit nasty at times. But yeah, Brighteon is advancing. Uh, and they're working on this. I don't know about the time frame that we're talking about, but you should definitely consider joining me there. It is a stable platform, and they, like the, a lot of the content there, it's sort of like the video side equivalent of Gab, I would say, which is to say that it's more leaned towards the religious crowd and homeopathy slash alt medicine survivalism side of things. They're, they're sort of like the, the Infowars side of content creation, as opposed to maybe the side that I'm on with my specific kind of current events commentary is a little bit further out, uh, I would say, from those particular subgenres. The exception of the gardening and some of the other stuff. There's a lot of religious commentary there, a lot of the Jesus channels. A lot of, if you look through the main 
uh, list of the, the higher ranked channels, a lot of them have religious or medical overtones. That's about, and, and guns, <laughs> guns and stuff. I, I, in fact, I think a lot of it was exodus from gun channels from YouTube that started getting banned or mass demonetized because YouTube decided that firearms are scary. Which, by the way, was one of the dumbest things they ever did. They lost a lot of good channels and a lot of good users. <laughs> YouTube doesn't want their money. Somebody else will take it. That's about all. Peace out.